Let's begin with the new scoping wizard feature. When selected, the option displays the scoping wizard worksheet pane, which lists all objects with unresolved scoping, likely as a result of geometry-based scoping losses following a geometry update. Corresponding objects in the tree also display with an invalid state. Once identified, the wizard provides options to visualize and re-establish the original scoping. To better enable you to understand a solution's required computational resources, the resource prediction feature now provides time prediction for solution processing. In addition, a new data table provides a predicted value as well as range of lower and upper values for both time and memory. New charts for the time and memory values have also been added to better understand how predicted values change for an increased number of cores. Now, let's take a look at the new and completely automatic Geometry Preserving Mesh Adaptivity, or GPAD, feature. This object is based on load step specifications as well as criteria for determining whether the mesh requires automatic remeshing, and, if so, which parts need to be modified. This example shows a mesh change on an equivalent stress result. This feature enables you to change the mesh during the solution phase to improve precision without incurring computational penalties. For surface models only, the structural optimization analysis has a new optimization method, topography optimization. Like shape optimization, this method is a free morphing optimization using mesh node relocations. Simply select the body to optimize and define the non-optimizable region. The degrees of freedom for optimization are based on node's location. When performing a structural optimization analysis, you can now create multiple optimization region objects and specify different optimization methods for each. This enables you to combine the level set, mixable density, shape optimization, and topography methods, as well as specify individual manufacturing constraints for each method. To enhance the presentation of viewports, whether only one viewport or multiple, you can now display the content of the graph window in a viewport using the new graphics toolbar option, Display Graph. This option enables you to present graph data in combination with result contours, animate results while viewing the corresponding graph progressions, and drag, drop, and resize the graph within the geometry window. And as you'll see in the next topic, you can export the geometry window content, including the graph, as an image. As you just saw, viewports are a useful tool to present multiple views of objects with mutually beneficial information within the geometry window. To further enhance this feature, you can now save an image of viewports using the new Composite Image to File option available in the Images drop-down menu on the Home tab. Here, we show the resulting image of the viewports. To avoid unwanted mesh refinement or poor quality elements within the mesh that are a result of embossed or indented geometric features, you can now insert a new option or object from the mesh object, Feature Suppress. This object enables you to select geometric features such as logos and remove them from the model. Once specified, an associated and optional display option, Suppressible Feature, enables you to preview the geometric features for suppression. When you are satisfied the scoping is accurate, mesh the model to remove the geometric features from the mesh.